So one of the things that you really need to understand about the woke is that they will always, 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 always take advantage of an opportunity to use something in the news to advance their cause, their mindset, real new people in, even if those things directly contradict things that they have said in the past. And I'm going to give you one of just the most beautiful examples of this that I have ever seen. And it starts where this stuff tends to start with our favorite book, White Fragility by Robin D'Angelo. And I'm going to read you a passage from page 12. It's not even buried in the book. It is on page 12 where Robin is telling us about a time that she did a diversity training in a corporate environment and a man of Italian ancestry came up and said, well, what about the Italians, Robin? Let's listen to how Robin answered this question. For example, I recently gave a talk to a group of about 200 employees, and there were no more than five people of color in their organization. And of those five, only two were African-Americans. African-American is the only race that Robin cares about. She routinely dismisses everyone else that are not black. Over and over, I emphasize the importance of white people having racial humility and of not exempting ourselves from the unavoidable dynamics of racism. As soon as I was done speaking, a line of white people formed, ostensibly, to ask me questions, but more typically to reiterate the same opinions on race that they held when I had entered the room. Robin does this all the time in White Fragility, where she goes into uh, environments like organizations, she gives her lectures, and then people basically say, I don't believe a word you're saying. And she gets very upset with those. She's like, why can't they just believe what I'm saying? I told them this was true. They're just supposed to believe it. They're not supposed to question. They're just supposed to believe it. But here we get to the good part. The first in line was a white man who explained that he was Italian-American and that Italians were once considered black and discriminated against. So didn't I think that white people experience racism too? That he could be in that overwhelmingly white room of coworkers and exempt himself from an examination of his whiteness because Italians were once discriminated against is an all too common example of individualism. Remember, in the woke mindset, individualism is considered white supremacy. A more fruitful form of engagement, because it expands rather than protects his worldview, would have been to consider how Italian Americans were able to become white and how that assimilation has shaped his experience in the present as a white man. Let me just read that sentence again, just to make sure we're really clear. A more fruitful form of engagement would have been to consider how Italian Americans would be able to become white and how that assimilation has shaped his experience in the present as a white man. His claims did not illustrate that he was different from other white people when it comes to race. I can predict that many readers will make similar claims of exception precisely because we are the products of our culture not separate from it. So Robin in White Fragility just said that Italians have assimilated to whiteness. In other parts of the book, she says the same thing about the Irish. The Irish have also assimilated to whiteness. And so Italians, Irish, people of European ancestry, they really aren't considered oppressed when it become, comes to the oppression hierarchy that we all know and love. Now, the oppression hierarchy basically ranks, ranks different people of different skin colors and gives them certain oppression points. So black people will always be at the top of the oppression hierarchy. Most often, Native Americans will come in under there, um, and then we're gonna have Latinos, and then we're gonna have Asians, then we're gonna have Jews. White people, of course, are always gonna be down at the very, very, very bottom. They're never going anywhere. Asians can fluctuate up and down the oppression hierarchy just depending on what's going on in the news, but, but I have a good news. I have good news for everyone of Italian ancestry. You're making a comeback. You're making a comeback. You might not be considered white any longer, and that is because of Andrew Cuomo. Of Andrew Cuomo being forced to resign from his office as governor of New York after getting caught in a major scandal and being forced out by his own party. Andrew Cuomo is single-handedly bringing back oppression for Italian Americans. And I know that because one of the retweets for this account is from an old friend of ours on this channel. 
It is from Kella. And Kella is a Democratic Socialist. She is actually a delegate to the Democratic Socialist of America convention. She recently wrote an article in Teen Vogue that I reviewed on this channel encouraging young people to join the Democratic Socialist of America. And she retweeted Andrew Cuomo's resignation speech with this. Addressing racism against the Italian ex-community on Twitter. Apparently, Andrew Cuomo resigning in the land of young democratic socialists is code for racism against Italian Americans. And a quick search brings this up as well. Anti-Italian X discrimination information. Now, I'm not sure exactly why we need the X at the end of Italian. We'll have to ask the woke why they put the X at the end of everything, regardless if it requires an X or not. Well, let's learn about anti-Italian X discrimination. Italian X, a gender-neutral and all-inclusive form of Italiano or Italia... <laughs> WPOC, get ready for this. W if you are Italian-American, you are a WPOC, a white person of color... <laughs> Someone who is light-skinned and European, but still a person of color. You are a white person of color. Congratulations. Italian X discrimination. Italian X people are often stereotyped as mafia bosses and chefs and can't go through their jobs at the pizzeria without being made fun of for their annoying accent and erased from their status as white people of color. Also, modern culture often spreads anti-Italian X dog whistles and slurs, which will be discussed next. Here are a common list of anti-Italian X slurs. Fredo, Luigi, Mario, WAP, white, which invalidates the status of POC, which is kind of ironic considering Robin D'Angelo in White Fragility blatantly said that Italians had assimilated to whiteness. And now we are back to white being a slur when it comes to Italian X because it invalidates their status as white people of color. Additional slurs include mafia, pasta elite, and pasta people. How you can help. And Italian X discrimination by confronting and fixing Italian X stereotypes. Tell others they should, if they do the same as well, and listen to WPOC in general. And be sure to support Italian X businesses by going to your local pizzeria or Italian X food restaurant. I am not making this up. This is real. This is real. She really is a democratic socialist. She is more woke than most people. This is real. So congratulations, Italians. You're making a descent, at least for, it's not descent, ascent, rather. You're making an ascent up the oppression hierarchy, at least for the moment. Because remember, like, Andrew Cuomo's already got, like, he's leaving. And so you may have had a moment in the sun, like, a week and a half ago. But unless there's more, more, um, more Italian politicians that are going to get caught in major scandals, you might be out of luck on that one. But you had a moment. You had a moment. And you should cherish it. And now, just like all of the Asian Americans that are routinely discriminated against when it comes to getting into school, you will go back down to the bottom of the oppression hierarchy so they can elevate whoever they want to elevate at any given time that helps them fulfill their agenda. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. So fun fact, in the last day, I did some, I did some investigating. I did some digging. In the last day, I have heard from like no less than two dozen people who swear they never unsubscribed from my channel, but they found themselves unsubscribed because YouTube are a bunch of shady bastards and they unsubscribe people from my channel all the time. So if you think you are subscribed, just double check, man. Just double check. If you're already subscribed, but you haven't turned on notifications, this is a good time to do that. And if you aren't subscribed at all, I do content almost every single day of the week around news, politics, culture, crazy woke nonsense like this, whatever really I find interesting to talk about. I hope you'll join me. Subscribe, notifications, comments, sharing, all that good stuff. That's all I've got for right now. I'll see you soon.